guides taking us out today. We're going to take really good care of you guys, first and foremost. Treehouse zip lines in Tequilma, Oregon, in the middle of the wilderness. And we're here with Oli. He's our guide. Hi, guys. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to go? I'm okay. Are you smiling? I am smiling. <laughs> Fifty feet down. How do you yeah, feel? I feel like really glad that you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm just gonna get you. Off that was fun. Well, we're starting to get higher and faster. Yep. Every time. Whoa. If you're scared of heights and speed like I used to be before I started zip lining here, um, you should challenge yourself to this course because you will feel really good about it. Right? Yeah. You feel pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Duck yeah. down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nice. And like no. No joke. You take him out of this harness, you get him Come on three down. feet up on a step ladder. He starts freezing, his body starts shaking. Yeah. You throw him in this harness though, he runs around here like a monkey. Oh, look how high he is. Oh my god. Alright, and this is gonna be the same as the last time you flew down to the field. There's that orange fence, both hands up to break and then hands down to roll backwards. Best job ever. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. The only job I've ever had where my uh, cheeks could be sore from smiling. Yeah, right. <laughs> We are on uh, one of our highest platforms. This is about 70 feet. Wow. We're really high up and the tree is swaying, but we are totally strapped in. And it's its flexibility that makes it strong. Just like uh, we design skyscrapers and things like that to be flexible for loads, it's its flexibility that makes it strong. The longest zip line is about 825 feet. We try to stay open uh, year round. You can come out here as a day activity. Absolutely, yeah. We have people from all over the place all, all the time. And step down to that bottom step. Don't put your weight in the harness just yet. Get your hand ready. And then both feet down here. Sitting down here lift your ankles. Wow. I think you're gonna make it. Wow. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Yep. Just like that, see? So, you know, this really is for all ages, and um, if you have to be a certain weight, you have to be 40 pounds. If you're not 40 pounds, then they can do tandem with the guides and they'll take you. And so, the guides here see little people, and then they come back the next year and they're a little bigger, and then they get to zip on their own and do their own braking. So, we don't have an age limit, but we have an age minimum. Okay. And the minimum is four years old and 40 pounds. Four years old, and then what is the oldest person that has zipped? We've set the bar at 93. Wow, 93 years old. She had a lot of fun. And the zipline course changes. Absolutely, we're always growing and changing, adding new things. 
called a prusik knot. See how it flows freely? Mm -hmm. It'll always flow free when there's no load put onto it, but there's a minute any type of load is put onto this knot, it's gonna grab, hold tight. It's not gonna allow you to fall at any point. The more load you put onto that knot, the tighter it actually cinches down to whatever it's tied to. It's really, really easy to tie. Basically, you're just looping itself inside of itself, just like this. Oh. All you're doing, you're making sure it's dressed pretty. Making sure all the knots are formed right. You'll see how it flows freely. The minute a load's put on it, it grabs down, it will hold the weight of whatever you put on it. Oh, this looks like it goes kind of straight down. This one is our fastest platform to platform. Oh, goody. <laughs> And I like that it goes so close to the tree limbs, like you feel like you can touch the trees. Glenn! <laughs> Such a trip to be up here and then you're just swaying and I mean, we're really high. Hey, how high are we, you guys? 73. 73. What would be really scary to me is building this course. <laughs> well, it's uh, it has its challenges, you know, every tree is a little bit different and it's really cool. Uh, you know, first we have to get a line into the tree, it has its challenges oh, to begin with. like a bow and arrow type deal? Bow and arrow, crossbow, crossbow, big slingshot. What percentage of a tree is actually living? Anywhere from 2 to 10% of a tree. Really? Yep, the only part that's living in a tree is the inside slimy layer on the inside of this bark here. It's the cambium layer. When you peel the bark back, it's that green slimy right, layer. Right, right. That's what allows the water to flow up and down the trunk of the tree. Wow. And if you kill that cambium layer, you've killed off the tree. Wow. Pretty much the rest of the tree is all fossilized tissue. Huh, fascinating. Now I just feel we're going to leave it. This is the end of the zipline course. If you're really brave and super adventurous, you can do something called the Tarzan swing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which everybody's talked me into. So we're probably gonna scream a little bit. It's the most adrenaline impact thing we have on the property, so. Exactly. So exactly. if you survive that whole zipline course, right? right? And if you survive, you must uh, carry on and do the Tarzan <laughs> swing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> guys lift it up. There's only one way down. And that is for you to let go and take the swing. That you sit right down here on this bench, it is the best seat in the house. You're gonna get to see all the fear in their eyes as they're swinging about 40 <laughs> feet over your heads. Also guys, potential splash zones. You guys can use your minds to think what that means. Oh crap. Exactly. <laughs> 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 no, I'm a one swinger. One swinger? <laughs> Oh, my God.